Well, one of the most important parts, components of training with a retriever is steadiness. A dog has to sit and wait for whatever's going to happen. He's going to get a command to do a blind retrieve. He's going to be sitting while marks go off. He's going to be sitting while birds come in to a blind. And this is something that must be rock solid. They must sit and not move until it's time to go. So one of the things that I do to make sure this works is to teach the sit command perfectly, which then translates into being steady. The way we do that is with a little term that we use called the traffic cop, and that involves teaching a dog to sit, reinforcing it on a very low neck with the electric collar, like on a little two. So it's sit, sit, and then we just drop a bumper, sit, sit. That bumper is not part of steadiness. It's just a tiny distraction to reinforce sit, 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 to reinforce the sit command. Once the dog understands the sit command, then you introduce bigger distractions and then it turns into being steady. But before you can do that, sit, 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 sit. A dog has to understand sit where you can't even pull him away from the sit position. Sit, sit, good boy. Sit, good, sit. Later, sit, you get to turn this power of the dog on for excitement, off for absolute motionless. This means they understand when you say sit, they don't budge. So later, you can take a bumper or a bird or an, uh, an ex exciting situation and get them all revved up. Yep, yep, up. You can get this dog absolutely insane. Right, that a boy, that a boy, good, okay. Good, sit. Then you can turn the sit into steadiness by saying sit, sit, motionless behavior sit good boy back then you go then you go into action you don't have constant action you have action when you say go so that's the traffic cop and how it applies to the sit command the sit command is the base for absolute steadiness i have elaborated on the traffic cop in a complete video that starts at the beginning and works through and this can be used with puppies which we do all of our puppies that way but then also it can apply to older dogs but you want a dog sit you want to be able to turn the power on and turn it off when you say sit you want absolute motionless behavior and when you say go you want to use every bit of power that dog has within him to make the retrieve or to do whatever you're asking them to do. Now sometimes I get a question about older dogs that just aren't really steady and if you start from the beginning with the traffic cop and follow it through you can take an older dog that has never really been steady, never used and known the sit command properly. You can teach that dog also to be motionless but step one sit is to understand the sit command and that it applies to every situation when the command is given sit that's when the motion stops